Hello, and thank you for being here today. I'm about to do something that I have thought about doing for a very long time, but that I have not done. And that is, take this 9060 drive apart. For those that have been following, they will know that this drive kind of almost works. It's like it hears things, but it sends back error messages. But it's, it, it's listening, at least. And you also know I have a 9090 that is working. So my plan is to figure out what is wrong with this. And one of the things I figured that I would do initially, because it's always best when troubleshooting, to only change one thing at a time. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Oh, and by the way, of course, at the end of this, I still want to have a working 9090 and not two old hard drives that are no good. So I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me, the first thing I want to do is to get the actual hard drive mechanism out of this. And it sits right in here, so that then I can have a go at taking the hard drive out of the other machine and then swapping them over and seeing what's wrong. That is the plan. Now, I have thought about I think there's some screws missing. Anyway, I've thought about taking this apart for a long time. By the way, it's always good to have screwdrivers that really fit the screws. You don't want to strip a head. But I have not taken a drive such as this apart. And um, I suppose part of the reason is because, you know, we've always been told that they are very delicate. And I don't doubt that they are very delicate. I don't think they had a way to park the heads. At least I don't remember ever there being a command, which was something that other drives later on certainly had. But you must remember, these were the early pioneer days. This hard drive holds five megabytes. Not gigabytes, or terabytes, or anything like that. Five megabytes. That's it. But at the time, that was massive. The 9090 held seven and a half. Even more massive. Now, how are we doing? Okay, so, the main circuit board... after I remove the LEDs, or the LED connector, is now um, separated, except, hello, why? Oh no, oh, hold on. Uh, there's always something else. Never just yank. There's a Wii connector here. Probably power. Yeah, it is power. So we've got to get that off. Okay, now, this circuit board, for the first time... Oh, careful with that cable. This cable... Oh, uh, sorry. This circuit board has been uh, removed. Now, the other... Uh, I'm very wary of these old ribbon cables. does seem it has to, something here must be unplugged. It does. So I am going to have a try 
very delicately removing this cable. And initially, it is not wanting to move. I really can't get a good grip. Maybe I will do it on the top board here. Where I can get a good grip on this. At least I think I can. I do not want to hear, hear something rip off here. This cable has been attached for a very, very long time. Sorry, I'm just looking. Aha. Okay, I have here a Wii screwdriver. Wii, because it's a flathead. I'm wondering if this thing, time for the glasses, has little things to protect it from being undone. I am not sure. I'm going to very carefully try and squeeze the screwdriver into the space at the top. Absolutely nothing is happening. Maybe I will go back to my original plan of trying to get this one off. Aha, look at that. Yes, it is magic. Or it is better when you have something to sort of uh, cry on. Okay. So, the top circuit board is out. So, four screws. Although it's funny, you know, it felt like there really should have been more. Like the, the IEEE connector in the back here felt a little wonky, but yet I don't see anywhere else that uh, screws would go into to give the board more stability. There are four legs here, oh. and it seems that when I undid them, undid the screws, they came a little bit loose. So now as I have this sitting here, and I glance over it, I think maybe I have finally found there is one that I can see it. Um, jumper. And I think that is the secret jumper that tells the drive, or tells the uh, mechanism, whether you're working with a 7.5 or a 5 megabyte drive. Now it does seem, as I look at this, the drive is here, then there's this other board on top of it. There is. And then there's another circuit board that's part of the drive. So this whole thing right now, I think, if I undo <clears throat> these four screws. I think now the whole drive mechanism and the assorted circuit boards they are heavy, would come out. Then I would have to undo the there's another ribbon cable or two and the power connector. Yes. 
And in the midst of this, you remember I said I thought that what I was going to do was try and take the whole drive mechanism out and swap it over into the 9090 that I know works. I think I'm rethinking that. Time for a drink. The, the whole thing I'm trying to do is isolate where is the problem. So, <clears throat> there's basically, much like any Commodore drive, there's a power supply. This one, of course, has a cooling fan. Um, there's the drive itself, and then there are the circuit boards. This circuit board came off a lot easier than I thought. And I think that I could replicate better, easier, faster into the 9090. I think. So I think my next step is to very carefully set this aside and very carefully set the circuit board aside. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear a gentle hum in the distance, but the 9090 has been sort of torture testing now for. Well, not as much as 24 hours, but a long time, and it's fine. So, I am thinking and rethinking that what I'm going to do next is move this over there and go turn off the 9090, make sure it spins all the way down and it's nice and happy. I have not had the cover off of this other drive. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know that I've ever had it off. But it's certainly been more than 30 years. So I think the switch in plans is, <coughs> excuse me, um, I'm going to swap out basically the Commodore circuit board and see where we're at. Once again, I don't want to kill the 9090. I would like to resuscitate the 9060. I suppose the other thing I can do after that, depending on how things go and what I see, and once again it's all based on the symptoms, um, would be to take the circuit board from the 9090 and put it in here and see what happens. Once again, we'll see. The other thing I'm interested to see is this, um, the, the one uh, jumper, see what position the jumper is in on the other drive, or if it is there. I'm assuming that the jumper being on, and I don't see any other jumpers, and I always heard, there's a jumper. Um, I I'm, I'm, would like to see what position that is in. I would hate to think that the reason that this drive won't communicate properly is because the jumper is on and it really thinks it's, it's a 9090 rather than a 9060. Anyway, um, we'll see. We will see. So, it is time to take a deep breath, and I'm thankful that nothing that I've done so far seems to have damaged anything. Interesting to see, there's an awful lot of little chips in here. Some of them socketed, many of them, most of them, not like this whole board is just full of chips. Um, like really, they're packed in tight. I don't even know how many there are. I could count, but it doesn't matter. There's lots. What I'm thinking is that this whole bottom part would have been like the drive from the, the manufacturer and then the upper drive would be what would allow it to communicate with our fine Super Pets 8032s 2001s, 4032s, 4016s, and other, uh, oh, also the B series, anyway, the IEEE, or the Commodore 64 with an IEEE interface. I'm thinking. All right. Oh, by the way, down at the end of the table is perhaps the ugliest, dirtiest, nastiest Super Pet I've ever seen. The Super Pet board is no longer in it, but the circuit board of the Pet is filthy, filthy, filthy. Anyway, we'll get to that. 
So, at the moment, I'm going to put a stop to this, and I'm going to get the 9090, and let's see where we go. Let's see what happens. I've waited a long time to do this. I first started on this project last summer, and then kind of lost my nerve, and also got wrapped up in other things. But today is the day. It's time. Time indeed. So, thanks for being here. Stay tuned. And once again, there is a fellow out there I know who is tinkering with a hard drive um, and having all kinds of strange errors come up and who knows, maybe something I find out here will help him or other people out there. For the moment, I have three screwdrivers, four screws, and a circuit board. And a 9060 looking back at me. So, enough for now. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you very much.